welcome to my channel. If you've never been to my channel before, my name is Kristen Leanne. I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber. Today's look uh, or tutorial is on the look that you see right here. So we're gonna jump right in. This is um, created using the new Urban Decay X Basquiat collection. They look like this. Um, so it comes with, let's see, we'll start with this. The first one looks like this. It's got Basquiat's work all over. It's really pretty, really huge mirror. And um, it comes with a brush, but that fell out, of course. And then a bunch of natural colors. Uh, these are mattes. These are like metallic. This one's super metallic. This one has a little bit of metallic properties. And uh, this is like a nice navy, a gunmetal like silvery, and then a really nice like metallic gold. And one of the cool things about these is that they have a little uh, notch here. So, um, cause most of us can't afford any Basquiat artwork. So what you can do when you're finished with your palette, instead of throwing it away, like you would normally do with any other palette, you can put this on the wall and it is basically a little piece of art. Then this one, same thing with the back. Got a really cute little crown here to help you open it. And then you open it and there are just all of these colors right here. So I pretty much used like both of these palettes to create this look. Um, this one is pretty matte. These two have a little, all these have like a little bit of sparkle. These three right here. This one's pretty metallic. This one's a little bit metallic. And then these two are matte. I believe, yeah, they got it. This one has a tiny bit of sparkle in it, but not much. Like, I don't think you'd see that when you actually put it on. So, um, yeah, and then this one also has a mirror. You could see my, you could see me in my monitor. Oh, where is it? Right there. <laughs> um, so, really pretty. I've had the opportunity to use this uh, today for this look, and then also when I shot for Urban Decay, and I am really, really impressed with these, so you'll get to see how these look and blend out as well. Then there's also this little guy also has, you know, all of them, everything has this little guy so you can hang it. And this is really cool because it's got like spot UV printing on the front and it feels like a canvas, all of these do. And then you open this guy up and you've got basically three blushes. I've been using this one kind of as like a contour bronze slash blush and then a really nice champagne goldish highlight right here, which blends out so well. It's like super silky, love these. Then there are three lipsticks. I only have two of them in front of me right now, but there is Epigram. It's this guy right here. It's like a really nice, actually kind of matches my shirt really well. Um, this is like a brownish red and the lipstick is really nice as well. It's got, it feels like canvas. It's got the artwork on the outside, UD, uh, Basquiat and um, mine that I got of these were really, really hard to open. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to even open the one I have on my lips right now. Oh, there we go. Um, this is what I have on right now. This is um, abstract and it's kind of like a shiny cream. It's not matte and uh, different artwork on this case, this bullet as well. So you kind of get like a variety. And then there's one other lipstick. It's like a pinkish kind of mauve shade and it's really, really pretty. I don't know where it is. I think it's in my, my makeup bag because I was using it the other day. But then we also get these, which are really exciting. These are brand new neon lime green um, liners and then, or one's a neon green and then this one is in vivid and it's like a blue. And the neon green one is called post punk. Oh, Ryan just reminded me. I used this one the other day. This also matches my shirt and the lipstick. This is anatomy and uh, this is also an eyeliner. So three like super unique eye, uh, eyeliner pencils that I've never seen Urban Decay make. Like I don't think they have any shades even close to this. So these are pretty exciting. Okay, now that uh, that is out of the way, we can go ahead and get started with this look. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video. Let's try and get it to 6,000 thumbs up this time because you guys just killed it with the 5,000 on a couple of last videos. And I really think you can do six. So let's try six, see how far we can get it. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna be using the Royal Langnickel BMD 430 brush. And I do have a discount code for Royal Langnickel. Um, I believe it gives you 20% off for, and it is uh, Kristen Leanne. So we're gonna be going in with Not For Sale and blending this up into the crease to kinda, that'll be kinda like our transition shade. This has like a dent in it right here and it's really bugging me, but I'm just gonna have to get over it right now because Tom is of the essence. 
I'm going to my friend Dan's show tonight. If you follow me on Twitter, you saw it, you know about it. You should have been there if you live in San Diego. Where the heck were you? We actually have to leave here in about an hour and thank God I already have my foundation and my brows done. This is a NYX number 16 brush and I'm just taking, I go back and forth between mentioning brushes to you guys or not. Like, do you care about the brushes that I'm using? Yes or no? Let me know. Do you like me to verbalize it? and tell you or put it in the description box or you just don't care either way. Let me know please in the comments cause I'm gonna read after this video goes up and I'd like to know. This is dangerous for me because I've done my foundation before the eyes. And you guys know lately I have been liking to do it the other way around. This eyeshadow, I'm, I'm really like, this is like doubles as a back scratcher just in case you were wondering. <laughs> I am loving these palettes. Um, the pigmentation is fantastic in these. I'm really impressed. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Especially the teal in the one Basquiat palette. I was like, oh, dear Lord, please be amazing. And I put it on, I was like, oh, it is not disappointing. Now going in with a shade that is named something that I actually don't even know what it means. <laughs> this is pseudonym. This is kind of like a, like a navy kind of dark, blue shade, it's really pretty. So we're gonna take this and put this right in the crease. There's a freaking hair floating around the screen. Where are you? <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little brush that actually came in this palette. Now I'm taking a Bedellium Tools 781 brush. This is just kind of like little, and it's going to, did that have a bunch of glitter on it? Cause now there's a bunch of pink or red glitter in my eyeshadow. It's just a little bit larger than the last one. So it'll help me blend it out and place it all at the same time. We're now going to go over to the colorful palette. Ah, this is as amazing in person as it looks right here on camera. Um, we're gonna be using Exu. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. We're gonna be using this one for the eyelid. I'm not gonna be moving down to the lower lash line until we finish the upper, because I might need to do a little bit of cleanup and I honestly didn't even put concealer underneath my eyes when I did my foundation today. I'm gonna put a little bit of NYX's Proof It just going to like put some of this on my eyelid. This will just help the color. This shade really doesn't even really need it, but I want to make sure in a hot venue tonight that I'm going to be in that my makeup's going to stay put. So I'm just putting this here just to ensure that it stays on and it just so happens that it makes the eyeshadow even brighter and pop for it's like true. I just spilled powder all over myself <laughs> for it's true full color effect. So and this is a Sigma medium sweeper E54 brush that I'm using right now. What's your guys' favorite song right now? Like what is like, just like you can't get out of your head right now. Thanks to Ryan, it's a few different songs for me. <laughs> One of them is Katy Perry's Chain to the Rhythm. It's so creamy and it's not matte either. So it's not chalky at all. And I'm placing most of the color over here on my eyelid, not really dragging that into the inner corner because we have other plans. With what's left on my brush, I'm then going to just kind of wipe this away from the inner corner just to kind of blend it out a little bit. So it's like a nice smooth transition into the inner corner color. For the simple fact that I didn't put any, uh, like, yeah, that looks good, any concealer underneath the eye, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna be using Tarte's Shape Tape, surprise, surprise, and Fair Neutral. Always like the second eye that you apply the concealer to needs like one less dab because it's gonna build up on your sponge or brush or whatever and transfer over to this side. Using a new brand that I don't know if I've ever even used on my channel. This is Amazing Cosmetics. Um, this is their Velvet Mineral Powder Set Setting Powder for the face. And to set this, I'm using a just a Japanese little brush that's actually perfect for setting or for applying highlight. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna finish up the under eye area going back to our neutrals palette and taking our original color, not for sale. And for this, I'm gonna be taking a Zoeva contour and shader brush. This is in 235 and I'm gonna be taking not for sale on there. And just meeting that up with our shades from over here. Then blend, betch, blend. Oh my gosh, of course the brand new like reddish brown liner that goes with this collection isn't on my desk right now. I think it's like all the way upstairs or ooh, just kidding, it's right here. Actually, they're gonna okay, make a dark brown. I don't even know what they do. All right, I'm actually gonna use this one because it is like exactly the same shade as pseudonym. 
This is a Jouer Slim Cream Liner, and this one is in matte navy. And I'm just going to kind of work this into my lash line, but not the waterline. Ah! Then going in with a Sigma Detailed Lip Brush, I'm going in with Pseudonym. I'm just gonna grab a little bit on my brush. Just lay that over top and blend out the harshness of the liner. And I'm kind of taking this up around the green right here and kind of connecting it with our dark shade up here. Dude, all my brushes are fucking dirty, I swear. This is the NYX number 15 brush. I'm just gonna kind of like smoke that out along the edges here. Back to this brush, I'm just gonna like reinforce this and kind of bring this down. And I use that out a little bit. Okay, so now we're going in with the Morphe 350S palette. This palette is so pretty, it looks like this. We're gonna go in with this one right here and just apply that to the inner corner to make it pop. And you guys know I can't stay away from glitter, so we're gonna be putting some big glitter chunks on that. Once, I don't know, once once it pops, the fun don't stop. Like Pringles don't sue me, but fuck. Like once you open one of these things of glitter, I just can't stay away from it, I'm just addicted. I'm addicted to glitter, what can I say? I've got craft herpes and I don't care who knows it. Before we do glitter, I'm gonna go ahead and do some eyeliner on the top so that I just, I, I just feel like the less time you have to have big chunks of glitter on the inner corner of your eye, the less like you are to stab yourself with one of them. And that sounds better to me. I'm gonna be using the Tarte Tartist uh, clay paint liner in black. Okay, so for a liner, we're gonna use the Sigma winged liner brush. And I do have a code for Sigma too, by the way. It is like, what is it? It's like Kristen Lee Ann or something. Okay, it's time for glitter. So I'm just gonna start applying um, some glue just like in little dots wherever I want to stick a chunk of glitter. I'm just gonna start placing these on top. This might look a little insane, but I'm gonna fucking own it. I don't even care. <laughs> it's glitter. I put on mascara and lashes, and these are the Pure um, Lashes in Flirt, and I do have a discount code for these as well. It is Kristen. This will give you 20% off and free shipping. So to make the eyes look a little brighter and wider, I'm gonna be using uh, Fake Awake by Tarte, and this is just kind of like a nude color that I'm gonna put on the waterline. I already have a bit of contour and blush on as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and use Jawbone right here and a little bit of this, so kind of dipping back and forth, but mostly um, Jawbone for like a little bit more of a blush bronzy sort of look. Oh, that's so pretty, I love those together. And then I'm gonna use the highlight in here and it's called Now's the Time. It's this one right here. It's like a really pretty nice like champagne kind of goldish shade. It's really pretty. Oh, by the way, the blush brush that I used was a Furless Pro 2F brush. And what I'm using for highlighting right now is a Morphe M501 brush. I had to go get Ryan to get this lipstick open for me because I could not get it out or like get this, the, oh shit, did I just close it again? Shoot, why did I do that? Okay, these are, these are, well, mine's really hard to open. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the um, Urban Decay new, this is part of the Basquiat collection. It comes with a super cute little lid. And this is an abstract. It's like a really nice mauve kind of gray brown. Um, super pretty, and then to line my lips, I'm gonna be using Bite Beauty's Lip Pencil in 12. By line my lips, I mean overdraw and recreate an entirely different lip line. Hopefully this lip liner matches well enough. Oh yeah. How long have I had this like orange thing in my tooth? You guys didn't even say anything. Guys, uh, hopefully you like it. I'm gonna run. We are completely late for my friend Dan's show. And um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me, spending a little time. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you ever recreate this look or any of my others, please don't forget to tag me on social so I can stalk you. Bye guys, love you. Oh, look who snuck in here. You are so fast. You wanna make a little cameo? You wanna say hi to all the foxes? Huh? Do you want to see hood of the bodies? Hi, I'm super annoying. I don't ever let mom film. I just bring all my toys and pile them by her feet and then I want to lick all the makeup. Yay! Oh, thank you.
Thank you, sweetie pie. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Yes, I do. But you gotta go because I get a film. Yes, you have to go. Bye-bye.